Joined now by Bob Vanderplatz, president and CEO of the Family Leader, a nonprofit Christian organization. He recently wrote an op-ed for the New York Times titled, Cruelty at the Border is Not Justice. You can see it there. Uh, Bob, thank you very much for being on with us. It's good to see you. Uh, it's been a little while since the campaign days when you and I talked a little more frequently. Let me yeah, ask good you. good to see you. Talk with me about this op-ed that you wrote. What prompted this and who in the administration have you pushed on this topic? Well, Hallie, I think we live, we all know we live in a very divisive time. And it seems like you always have to pick an either or, and you need to go on one side or the other. And the fact is, we just need leadership here today. Yeah, we need to execute our laws. We want to secure the borders. We want to have a process for legal immigration. We all get that. But we also need to act with mercy, with compassion. These are people. These are families. And we need to reflect the best of the American spirit. So the reason for my op-ed was to basically call on the Trump administration, as well as members of Congress, you all say you want this to end. President Trump says he wants this to end. Melania says she wants this to end. Mm. Uh, Jeff, I mean, everybody says they want it to end. So get around the table. Let the adults get around the table and let's stop this now. We can walk and chew gum at the same time. You have these words, the, these things that you're saying that you are clearly very upset about. But how do you turn that anger into action? What are you specifically going to do? Because there are immigration advocates calling on the faith community of which you're a part to actually do something. Will you come to the White House? Will you try to call the president? I will definitely try to be a voice to the president with the contacts that I have there. Yeah. But their part of it is, is Hallie is writing the New York Times op-ed. It's appearing on this program as well as many other programs of saying, listen, we need leadership today. We understand we have an immigration crisis and we need vast immigration reform in this country. That's part of what's being exposed today. But at the same time, I think we can decide that's an MS-13 gang member. That's someone who's in the business of trafficking or drug dealing or something else. But at the other times, we can keep families together. I think Senator Ted Cruz, who said, let's put more justices so we can speed up the asylum process, is a good idea. The president doesn't I think want Marco that. Rube he said yesterday he doesn't even want more immigration judges, even though that's what Senator Cruz said he wanted and what his congressional liaison said the president would back. Mixed messaging. But here? I think what's happening, I think what's happening is members of Congress are trying to give them some viable solutions. So Senator mm -hmm. Cruz saying put more judges. I think Marco Rubio saying let's do alternative detentions, keep the family together, and then either deport them together or allow them to stay together. But keep the family unit together. So before I let you go, then what is your message that you think would be effective to the attorney general? Because as we just talked about, his church has come out now. The United Methodist Church saying stop this, end this. Jeff Sessions has cited the Bible. He has turned to the book as validation. You are saying that actually what we're doing, what the president is doing, does not actually comport with Christian values. So what do you say to Jeff Sessions well, to try to get him to change his mind? Well, Helly, what I would say to Attorney General Sessions, as well as to President Trump, is you will never be right when you do what is wrong, and you'll never be wrong when you do what is right. And this is clearly wrong. Scripture also says to seek justice, and that's what we're doing with uh, legal immigration, but also to love mercy, meaning e implement it, execute it with some common sense, compassion approach, and to walk humbly with your God. I think that would be a very good guiding principle for this time of what we're seeing at the border. Bob, very, very quickly, the president retweeted Pastor Scott today, who said, hashtag, it's all politics related to this. Do you agree that this is all politics? You know what I, what I think we're seeing is we're seeing the worst of Washington. I think what mm -hmm. we're seeing is a negotiation and kids are caught in the middle. And I think it has a, a potential to be a negative ripple effect for if it's the Democrats who are trying to expose Trump or if it's President Trump trying to say, I want, I want my wall and I want funding for the wall. We cannot let the worst of Washington keep these kids hostage and separate families. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Why don't you subscribe? It's really easy. Just click on that button down there. And for more news from MSNBC, click on any of these videos here for the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more videos from MSNBC with our newsletters. Head over to msnbc.com newsletters to sign up.